Alright, I'm Rory Irish with Trailmater Off-Road Recovery. We're super excited. This is the 10-foot Trailmater trail rope for technical recoveries on the trail. I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> I had it. That's what I told you to turn the camera on. Oh, no, the sun. Oh, oh no. bad lighting. See me? No, you don't. Oh, hey. We're there back. He is. Are you excited, Mike? Dude, I'm way excited. His whole purpose today is to not climb obstacles. Yeah, I'm here yeah. to not succeed. So, what we got here is a 30-foot Yankum kinetic recovery rope right here. These are phenomenal ropes. They work great. However, when you're towing in tight quarters like this or on tight trails, this doesn't really work. This is way too long. What we're working with Alan here. This is Alan from Yankum Ropes. Alan was awesome enough to approach me and be like, hey, we want to help you make the rope that you want, the one that you've been talking about forever, and make it your color. So what we've worked Ooh. on is our very own Trailmater. Whoa. 10-foot rope. Comes with a protective sleeve on it. And so it's a very small version of the Kinetic. The intended job is a trail recovery rope for pulling on the trail just pulling a dead vehicle out on the trail so what we're going to do we're going to kind of show off our new rope we're going to show off the whole reasoning behind it we're not in a sand pit we're not stuck in the mud we're not dealing with that this is a whole different thing this is trail riding out with your buddies whatever like if we had to get up this obstacle to get out a 30 foot strap he would be at the bottom and i would be at the top but anyway, let's have Mike get up here and let's show some stuff on what this really does. Oh no! Right there, look what you did. Like that right there. You're trying to pull there. You'd probably be over here. And as soon as you come up, you're gonna be pulling that at the wrong angle that you need to pull it up the obstacle. You're gonna be falling into the wall. Let's back this up, hook onto the short rope, and let's show why this is gonna do what it does. He's at least got front wheel drive, so he can help out and steer. This rock right here, bring your driver tire over it. Yeah, that worked pretty nice. That was awesome. Yay, we made it. Broken shaft, made it. Oh, it's way better. Uh, reason being, it's not as firm. It's not as violent. I was told, and when you're hooking up a rope and tugging on people as the driver, if the cooler doesn't come out of the back and hit the windshield, you're not trying hard enough. <laughs> <laughs> I get it now. Yeah, it all makes sense now. Yeah. It all makes sense now. This is phenomenal. Can you tell I'm excited? He's excited. Look at how excited we are. You can get the rope. You can buy the soft shackles, one or two, or if you don't want one, you can just get the rope. Or another option is our super cool bag with the Trailmater logo and Yankum Ropes logo on there. And being a 10 footer, it's gonna be a very inexpensive American made kinetic recovery rope. In Idaho. In Idaho manufactured in-house which we will be going up and checking out i'm going up in a couple days actually to check and see our ropes being made we're coming in here look at this hey oh who's that look at that i know that guy i've seen him on youtube <laughs> see that right maybe we'll be seeing if he can pull us out of water that thing is cool that's the pickle on the pickle trail i've had to do this personally so we've had a rig disabled and you got to pull it out so you're not going to pull it up the hard line because that would be hard so we're going to go up the bypass right here but we're going to show you why a longer rope is kind of a hassle 
on these tighter trails. So transfer case will be in neutral, we'll have no power, but we will have steering and we'll show how this is, this tight turn and angle right here isn't this. gonna work out. is exactly what I was talking about. Like, there's no way to direct him this way because the pulling force, the vehicle is all the way up top of the obstacle. So now what we're gonna do, we'll back up and we'll hook up our trail rope, do it again. Stayed on course. Followed the vehicle in front instead of being way too far behind. All right, now that's a soft shot. Here's a soft shot. Cole. That is a super loop. This is a super duper loop. Look at that. <laughs> so we are here in Burley, Idaho at Yankum Ropes because Alan has something super cool to show us, but also we want to check out how the ropes are made and see what's actually done to make these ropes as cool as they are. Here's where it starts. This is insanely crazy. This stuff is so tiny. This is the highest grade nylon 6.6, finest fiber you can get on the market. There's a whole bunch, that's not one fiber, there's a whole bunch of little tiny fibers that are a quarter of the diameter of a human hair. Jeez. See, I cheated. <laughs> <laughs> Dan is the twist hey, Dan. specialist. Dan is a specialist. You need something twisted, Dan's a man. I do. Dan is twisted. I like Dan. Then we put it in the core braiding machine. So this is the inside of the rope. What we do is we have we have a 12 carrier system with tandem strands in it. It's a lot more fun when it's running fast. This is the cool part. So here is that rope over there. Oh, this is so cool. It's mesmerizing. Yeah, let's watch this one go fast too. In cordage, in the world of cordage, it's, it's kind of a race to the bottom. How do we make it faster, more efficiently, less expensive? Well, we're focused on making sure that it's gonna last as long as possible and it's gonna be as strong as possible by you guys making it, then you're not worried about the quality of what you're getting. Yeah. You're making the quality of we, it. We know what we're getting. Yeah. There, no, it's like a necklace. Right. I'm telling you. That's my bling oh, right there. Mr. T doesn't have anything. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Look at them ones. That looks tiny all of a sudden. Winch ropes, all sorts of everything. Bow shackles, fair leads. This is like straight up recovery heaven right here. Yep. Look at that. I know that dude. You got blue, orange, army green, OD green, gray, tan. Holy cow, you guys got everything. This is where we do all of the, the slate manufacturing. So we take those lengths and we just splice each eye. Eric is working on one right now. And we just pull the eye and it looks like that. Sweet. It turns out there there's a lot of handmadeness to it. We really have to take our time on doing the lash. And all this is done by hand too. That's not done by right. machine. Nope. So here's where they're getting. This is straight out of Erica. Yep. And then they tape them off so that they can dip these to have them coated. Then these are the coated ones. They're getting taped. So then they go in the green bucket over here. Yep. Yeah. Don't want it to be splotchy like my buggy. <laughs> we want it to like be consistently green. 
That's the final rope all ready, all dipped, all done. It might it might say soft shad ball. But we know what it is, right Mike? <laughs> it is the super loop. There's there's a very, very short special run of a few people that are gonna it's gonna say soft shack a lot of right. and everybody else is gonna say super loop. Oh, so that's all right. you know you've got the first yeah, First. if it says soft shackle, you got a special you got, one. You got the original one. So this this is all the process of not just not just our ropes, but this is any rope that that Alan makes and offers. This is the process to get it built and get it done and get it out the door and get it to whoever ordered it. That is wild. That is like a dream come true. I never knew was a dream. Like that's just awesome to be making our own ropes. So I'm super excited and I really hope you guys are too. Most everybody's looking at the bottom dollar and I totally understand that. But we kind of want to showcase why this stuff is expensive because it isn't just pumped out in a factory and a machine spins it out and just whatever. No, like these, we're in Idaho at Yankum's place where they make it like all in this shop. It comes in with those little bales or those little yeah, rolls those of packages. twine yeah yep. and then they make it here mostly by hand hand braiding it and turning it into into ropes that's one of the biggest things why i'm so excited to be working with these guys because like i said they're they're making them right here and that's awesome well this is gonna be fun thanks rory no thank you i'm so excited look at how excited i am Recover somebody's vehicle, but this is how we're going to recover my vehicle. <laughs> I've been wanting to do this for a while. I've been I've been trying to get somebody to work with me to build us a rope for technical trail recovery. I've said that buying shirts supports us, and it does. This also will support us or help support us in the channel because this is something that we're buying to sell to you guys because. It's an actual tool. It's something we use and something we believe in. But this right here, this is what gets the work done. quiet on set yeah show me like one of your french girls justin <laughs> Ooh, there we go don't make me pull my shirt off i'll scare some children <laughs> vehicles recovered let's go, let's go home. let's get them ordered for christmas for new year's for holidays heck thanksgiving easter whatever you want get you one birthdays birthdays hanukkah you get 12 of them. One for each day. <laughs> See, I know that. <laughs>